and welcome. After performing the risk management, uh, you perform the continuous monitoring to keep the organization's operations within an acceptable level of risk despite uh, any changes which may occur in the organization. In this video, I will discuss the NIST Special Publication 800-137 which describes the process for information security continuous monitoring or ISCM for federal information systems and organizations. So let's start. Now uh, this entire process of continuous monitoring or more particularly information security continuous monitoring has various steps. So the first step is uh, to define the strategy for information security continuous monitoring and then to establish the architecture for this ISCM and then to implement and collect the data for ISCM and then to analyze uh, this security data and to report the findings and the second last step is to respond to the findings and this response comes from the management and the last step is to review and uh, to update your information security continuous monitoring strategy or the architecture or this entire program. So in the first step which is to define the uh, information security continuous monitoring strategy. So this strategy is defined based uh, upon the risk tolerance of the organization to keep uh, the risk under or the operations of an organization under uh, the risk which is acceptable by the organization. So this uh, strategy uh, should also provide the clear visibility into the organization assets and the vulnerabilities and threats and their resultant impact on the business or the mission of an organization. Then the next step is to establish uh, the uh, ISCM program or this ISCM architecture. So this architecture has uh, the metrics which you have to define for information security continuous monitoring and you also define uh, the frequencies for monitoring and for carrying out uh, this ISCM assessments and the reporting frequencies as well. And in the third step, you collect, uh, you implement this entire ISCM program by collecting the security data with regards to monitoring, assessment and the reporting data as well. And then in the next step, you analyze this collected data to determine the response and this response uh, or you may also collect any other supplementary data which may support uh, your uh, response for a particular risk and then you report your finding to management and then here the actions of management comes uh, where they decide to mitigate uh, this reported uh, risk uh, by taking the technical management or operations actions or they may tra transfer this risk or they may avoid, accept or reject uh, this reported uh, threat or risk. And in the last step, you uh, carry out a review of this entire ISCM program and you then you adjust and update your ISCM strategy or ISCM uh, metric of this uh, where uh, and you uh, also uh, do this review to increase your visibility into your uh, IS assets or vulnerabilities or threats. So by performing this review and updating the strategy or the matrix or the ISCM entire program, uh, you increase the data-driven control of your information security assets. 
and you also increase the resilience of entire organization by keeping uh, the operational risk within uh, the risk tolerance and risk acceptance uh, level of your organization so this was all from my side uh, please stay connected to my channel for similar videos thank you